Hi, I'm Brian. You're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm at the National Auto Museum in Nevada. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm in gallery number one. The oldies. This right here is a steam powered quad cycle. It's kind of neat. It's a 1903 Cadillac. It's a 1909 white steam from sewing machines to presidential autos. Look at this sign. For a thousand dollars. If there's a hill, this car cannot climb. <laughs> so I'm guessing it made up all the hills. I'm sure there's a hill you can't climb somewhere. <laughs> it's a pretty nice museum. It's my first stop of the day. Some of these are big. It's a Pierce Arrow. 1913. Hmm. That windscreen is actually taller than me in the bent over position. Seating. Oh, it's a 1910 Rolls Royce. Nineteen thirteen Stanley. Well, it looks like this car cost only a penny a mile to run. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. It cost three hundred and seventy-five dollars. New. All right. Take a little stroll down Main Street. See who's playing at the theater. The Wizard of Oz. Come with the wind. Vintage gambling machine. Doesn't make sense. I did say we were in Reno, right? Hopefully later I can drive around and get some pictures of some signs. Probably a different video. Hmm. Cool. Not to launch our car. It was the first of four Model A's to drive around the world. Wow, in 1982, driven 16,000 miles. Wow, 15 miles per gallon average. Huh. Whoa, one broken axle, two flat tires. Wow. That old girl's got some miles on her. Hmm. That's fascinating. That's very cool. 
Aren't you glad you don't have to pump gas like that anymore? That's the Tesla truck. Hmm, interesting. Looks a little bit more aerodynamic. Why has it only got one seat in the middle? Oh yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Got a Ford Model T. Hmm. I don't think I've seen that feature before. Let's go check out the hardware store. See if we can pick up some supplies. Maybe get some motor oil. Get a carburetor. Wow, okay. Oh yeah. Totally get a carburetor. Get some tooling. Keep warm. A lot of music playing in here. The style is what you want. It's going in gallon number two. Wow. This one's supposed to have. I don't know. <laughs> So this car was air-cooled at a time when most cars were water-cooled. And that was before the invention of any freeze. So it was much more handy if you need to get in a car right now in winter. Nineteen twenty three Chevrolet. Nineteen twenty seven Roland. Nineteen twenty seven Lincoln. So a used car, used John's, honest John's, used cars. Okay, give me a car over here on a return trip. Should think it'll take longer? Hmm, maybe I better not. I mean, I would be styling in this 1925 McFarlane. I'll check out this guy. 1934 Chrysler Airflow. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> A little wooden car. Hmm. You cross country in that. Some Mercury. 1939. Supporting a flathead V8. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Hope the music doesn't interfere with this video. I've been here one other time. So neat I had to come back. <laughs> it was like five years ago. If you want to dig through my collection, you can see what before what my videos used to look like. Wow. This place is neat. It's 1939 Airmobile. 37, I mean. Yeah, we can see inside, I see. Oh, wow. Ford helped build that. Looks like that's still one of a kind. Excuse me. Hmm. 
you've been watching my videos, you've seen me, seen a 21 model camper. Yeah, you got open though. Huh. Isn't that neat? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's an old Zanth radio. Oh, back on Main Street. Series left two. How much how much gas is going for nowadays? Perfect. Twenty four cents. That'll work. So I can squeeze my car in here. This is nice. <laughs> I don't imagine out of stock. That's neat. That's very neat. These old streets are pretty cool. Little subway place. Nice cars. Hmm. Looks like I might have changed a little bit since last time. Old Triumph. Austin Cooper, or Benny Cooper. Hmm. Hmm. Military video. Got a truck of some sort. Bikers hang out. Oh, yeah. That's gallery number four. I think we gotta go find gallery number three first. Ooh, I got a cold shop set up. Phantom Corsair. Thirty six Mercedes Benz. That's pretty cool. 56 Mercedes Benz. Hmm, I got a six cylinder, but it's fuel injected. So we go. 47. This car was 1939 Ford. It was actually manufactured without door handles. How do you think you got it? Well, right there is a little button you'd push. Activate the solenoid. But because the museum's cars don't have batteries, they take them out usually or disconnect them. They got a little wooden handle bypass. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Corvair M69. 1965 Mustang. Fastback. Hmm. 
Parker International. It's a Ferrari motor. <laughs> Look at this car. This rolls is all copper. It's a 1921 rolls. Look. All copper. That's cool. Okay, let's go in gallery number four. That's where all the famous cars are at. I'll walk down the red carpet first. <laughs> Gotta smile. <laughs> all the flashing. Just gonna guess that was Elvis and Cadillac. It's a 73. Should we go back to the future? <laughs> it's an 81 DeLorean. Lincoln Continental from 62. I guess this is Kennedy's ride. No. This was Kennedy's ride. How's it going, Mr. President? I guess not the best. Of course, he had a Lincoln. James Dean had the Mercury. Corvette. John Wayne Corvette. That's different. 66. Hmm. At the Jurassic Park. Oh, one of Hot Rod Magazine's top 10 hot rods. Oh, that's cool. John Travolta's. Some grease lightning. This one's from. Okay, tell me what's from. The Green Hornet. No, it didn't look quite as big in the movie. <laughs> Sinatra's ride. The 61. Hmm. Chia? I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure. That's kind of neat. And that one's Lana Turner's Chrysler. The 41. Only six were built. Only four are known to exist today. Let's check out some race cars. Hmm. That's pretty wild looking. Nice up cars. Hmm. I think I know what that is. Yep. Superbird. From 1970. This one's got a world record on its title. Vidget race car. Am I the only one that thinks that would be fun to drive? <laughs> well, that'd be fun to drive too. their restoration shop. Oh, that's neat. And you thought electric cars were new. All the corrosion on that. Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. This is a really neat museum. That's why I had to come back twice. Have a great day. That's a 1914 Detroit Electric.